Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Dear friends, greetings from Father Franklin de Souza from the Diocese of Shumoga. Today I am going to share with you 22nd Sunday in the ordinary time, September 3rd. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, I praise you, I thank you, I glorify you. As we are reflecting this passage, these readings of 22nd Sunday in ordinary time, pour out your spirit upon us. Let the spirit grant us wisdom, understanding so that we may be filled with the power of anointing of the Holy Spirit. We may be witnesses in your vineyard, Lord. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the book of Jeremiah, chapter 20, verses 7 to 9. O Lord, you have deceived me, and I was deceived. You are stronger than I. And you have prevailed. I have become a laughing stock all the day. Everyone mocks me. For whenever I speak, I cry out, I shout, violence and destruction. For the word of the Lord has become for me a reproach and derision all day long. If I say, I will not mention him or speak any more in his name. There is in my heart as it were a burning fire shut up in my bones and I am weary with holding it in and I cannot. Psalm 63 For you my soul is thirsting, O Lord my God. O God, you are my God, at dawn I seek you. For you my soul is thirsting, for you my flesh is pining, like a dry weary land without water. For you my soul is thirsting, O Lord my God. I have come before you in the sanctuary to behold your strength and your glory. Your loving mercy is better than life. My lips will speak your praise. For you my soul is thirsting, O Lord my God. I will bless you all my life. In your name I will lift up my hands. My soul shall be filled as with a banquet. With joyful lips my mouth shall praise you. For you my soul is thirsting, O Lord my God. For you have been my strength. In the shadow of your wings I rejoice. My soul clings fast to you, to you, your right hand upholds me. For you, my soul is thirsting, O Lord my God. A reading from St. Paul's letter to the Romans, chapter 12, verses 1 to 2. I appeal to you, brothers, by the mercies of God, to present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God which is your spiritual worship. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that by testing you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. Acclamation. May the God of our Lord Jesus Christ enlighten the eyes of our hearts, that we may know what is the hope to which he has called us? Gospel according to Matthew chapter 16 verses 21 to 27. At that time, Jesus began to show his disciples that he must go to Jerusalem and suffer many things from the elders and chief priests and scribes and be killed and on the third day be raised. And Peter took him aside and began to rebuke him, saying, Far be it from you, Lord, this shall never happen to you. But he turned and said to Peter, Get behind me, Satan, you are a hindrance to me. For you are not setting your mind on the things of God, but on the things of man. 
Then Jesus told his disciples, If anyone would come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. For whoever would save his life will lose it. For whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. For what will it profit a man if he gains the whole world and forfeits his soul? Or what shall a man give in return for his soul? For the Son of Man is going to come with his angels in the glory of his Father, and then he will repay each person according to what he has done. Friends, today's gospel is continuation of last Sunday's gospel. Now you remember the last Sunday's gospel, Jesus is asking this question, what people say about me and then what do you say? He gets the opinion and he asks their experience. Now today, as I read this gospel, the word touched me. For you are not setting your mind on the things of God, but on the things of man. You know, when we had this uh, radio and those who were traveling in the uh, vehicle, some listen this FM radio, you have to tune. If you tune only, you will get the, the music or news or anything that you want. Even everything need to be tuned, even our mind. Now, the question here, for you are not setting your mind on things of God. The modern world today is failing because... Not only the world, but I and you fail because we don't set our mind on the things of God. That means, what are the things of God? That's what Jesus explains. Deny yourself. Take up your cross and follow me. Then he says, if you gain whole world and lose your soul, then what is the use of your living? There is a purpose for our living. Purpose is that we are preparing ourselves for our eternity, eternal life. To attain that eternity, we have to set our minds on the things of God. The failure of the humanity today, we don't set our minds on God. We set our minds on today's modern technologies. You know what it is. I need not tell you. Ask this question. Who do you say? Now, where do I set my mind? Or where do I tune my mind? For you are not setting your mind. So many children have forgotten, youth have forgotten, families have forgotten. No prayer, no faith, no church, no sacraments. They never follow the commandments. Then ask the question, where do I or where have I tuned my mind or set my mind? Where? On the things of God or the things of man? This is the challenge for us today. It is easy to hear the word of God, but Jesus challenges you and me. Franklin, where you have tuned your mind? As a priest, you tune your mind in the world, you're lost. You're lost in the lust, you're lost in the wealth, you're lost in your talents, you're lost. You humble, you deny yourself. Sacrifice. Focus on me. When you miss the focus, you will miss your eternity. Let me take you to first reading of today, the experience of Jeremiah. Jeremiah uses a very, very, you know, out of pain he uses a word against God. You said, used to me, he says. You know, he was being called by the Lord, he was proclaiming the good news, but people targeted, humiliated the spiritual life or following Jesus is not the bed of roses, 
But there are thorns. That is what he experiences. He says violence and destruction. And he says you have deceived me. I was deceived. You are stronger than I. And you have prevailed. I have become laughing stock all the day. And some of the translations say seduced me. Out of pain he speaks. You know all of us get pain. Then Lord. Lord God tells him. Set your mind upon me. Not upon your thinking. You no, know, That's what uh, Jesus said. But things on Things were setting your mind on the things of man. As a man he spoke. But God gives him the strength. He says I, I don't want to speak anymore in your name. Because all mockery, all humiliation. But what to do? Your word is like fire. That burns within me. I have to go. It will not allow me to keep quiet. Word of God is like fire. It inspires. It burns. It uh, uh, transforms us. And that's what we see in the second reading. In the uh, psalm you saw. For you my soul is thirsting. O oh my God, my Lord. My soul is thirsting. Our heart's desire is always towards God. And then he says, second reading, he says, You offer yourself as a spiritual worship. So he says, I appeal to your brothers by the mercies of God to present your bodies as living sacrifice. You know, one sacrifice that we offer on the altar, another sacrifice we offer on our bed in our room. You know, sometimes that loneliness, that emptiness, that desires, you have to overcome. You have to overcome with the power of the word of God, power of the Holy Spirit. And he says, to present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God. So holiness in mind, soul and body, which is your spiritual worship. Do not be confirmed to this world. See, don't set your things on the world. But be transformed by the renewal of your mind. Very important. Change my mind, O Lord. Change my mind. That by testing you may discern what is the will of God. It's very important that I and you have to discern what is the will of God. The word of God today inspires us to discern the will of God. Not to go in our own way. What is good and acceptable and perfect. And we hear the same thing in the gospel. Jesus is asking them to follow. By denying. By sacrificing. Taking up your cross. And follow. Focus on Jesus. So let us set our minds on the things of God. What are the things of God? Sacraments. Word of God. Ten commandments, that will never change. We are preparing ourselves for our eternal life. All of us want heaven. You want to heaven, it will not automatically come to you and me. Jesus set your minds on God, things of God, the teaching of God. Follow God, love God, adore God, worship God. And then he says, if anyone who wants to come, he should follow me. How? He should deny he should take up his cross and he should come after me. And whoever saves his life will lose it. And whoever loses uh, his life for my sake will find it. For what will profit a man if he gains the whole world and forfeits his soul? This word touched St. Ignatius Loyola and he was transformed. The word of God is like fire, double edged sword. And uh, then he says, uh, when son of man comes, uh, whether he sees the faith or not, he says he will repay each person according to what he has done. So dear friends, let us accept this challenge as Christians. Because we have to tune our minds according to God's way. Today many, many of us have forgotten God. Gone away from God. No family prayer. Not going to the church for Sunday Eucharist. Or no personal prayer, not reading the word of God. This all causes the disaster in the family, disaster in the personal life and disaster in the, you know, the health also. So let us surrender ourselves to God. Let us obey God and ask the Lord to touch, anoint and heal us. Heavenly Father, I praise and glorify thy name. 
I surrender my brothers and sisters into your mighty hands. As you gave us this word, let this word inspire us. Let this word heal our wounds. Let this word strengthen us to follow you. Tune our minds according to your ways, Lord. Lord, help us to give up our sinful ways and to select your ways as you have told us to do in the gospel, in the reading of today, to offer us as a living sacrifice. I bind the blocks, bondages, curses, disturbances, sicknesses, sin to go out from this world, from the families. Bless each family, heal each family. And all those who are in need of your healing, touch, touch in Jesus' name. Amen. May God bless you, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. For the Franklin D. Souza Diocese of Shubhanga. Pray for me, friends. And forward this message uh, as many as possible. They also may experience God's healing touch. Amen. Yeah,